Hello, I'm Shweta Dang, General Manager for Applications and Technology in Morses Disha. I have been working in the MRI domain for the last eight years and have been a part of installation span India for a lot of MRI compatible equipments. So I have been trained in MRI safety in Dubai by a past member of the ACR and somebody who's also sat in the committee for drafting MRI safety guidelines. And with this knowledge, I would like to share my experiences and how we can have safer MRIs in India. From a medical perspective, MRI technology is a much safer tool for diagnosis. But it is the strength of the magnet which is used for better quality images which causes a concern and is something which needs attention. A 3 Tesla magnet strength is 60,000 times the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. With that, there has also been an increase in the number of magnets installed in India. As per the statistics from 2019, we have around 3,500 installations in India and we are installing 350 to 400 machines every year. So on one hand, we have stronger magnets and on the other hand, we have number of machines which are increasing. And together, this is where the risk lies and grows exponentially. As per a global statistics, with the increase in the number of scans, the risks of MRI accidents and the reported MRI accidents are increasing by fourfold. The MRI hazards can be categorized into four categories. The first and the most known is projectile hazards. It's when a ferrous object crosses the permissible MRI zone and due to the strength of the magnet, it is attracted to the magnet with a very strong speed which makes it a projectile. Anything in between the path of the projectile and the magnet can lead to casualties, let alone the damage which is done to the MRI scanner, which can be, which can be only corrected with a lot and lot of money involved in that. The second is implants. We have more and more patients with implants who need MRI scans. If these implants are not MRI compatible, they can either be displaced from their position or they can, be, they can malfunction. And both these cases can lead to casualties. The third and the lesser known aspect of MRI safety hazard is one which comes from burns due to the RF field. And the moment there is a closed loop which is formed, these burns can be dangerous. Also, a lot of clothing material which is worn has conducting materials which can also cause a concern for burn. And the fourth and the last category is auditory damage which is due to the gradient field. And anyone with an impaired hearing can be at risk due to the auditory damage. From a global perspective, MRI accidents are common, whether they be related to projectiles or they be related to implants or even related to burns. And if I talk about India, MRI accidents are common in India as well. A few of those which are on the top of my mind are cases from Western India, where two workers were pinned to the MRI for a couple of hours because they carried a metal oxygen cylinder inside. Another case where somebody unfortunately lost their life because of carrying an oxygen metal cylinder inside. Some of the lesser known accidents are related to burns which have occurred due to silk saris being worn inside the MRI during scan or due to the pattas which had metal embroidery which was worn for the MRI scan. Another case in the northern part of country was where a security personnel decided to ignore the instructions given to him and walked inside the MRI with a pistol. Thankfully, there was no casualty reported, but it did, did lead to a lot of damage to the MRI scanner. So while MRI accidents are very common in India, they are not reported mostly till the time a casualty is there because there is no mandate of reporting these accidents. Per se, there are no statistics available, but from my experience through Pan India doing courses with people and talking to multiple MRI stakeholders, I can very well and very comfortably say that we would equal in terms of MRI accidents if we compare to the West. Um, I think the biggest reason for MRI accidents in India is negligence due to awareness of MRI best practices. And it also stems from the fact that we have a huge load on the MRI infrastructure in India. As per a study done in 2020, we have one MRI machine per 10 million people as opposed to one MRI machine per 1.5 million people in developed countries. This huge load is what is causing a concern. The consultants, doctors and radiologists are doing their best to safely scan patients. But this huge load is what is aggravating the problems in MRI. Also, MRI facilities are used not only by radiologists, but they are used by multiple disciplines. 
And people from other disciplines who are not aware on MRI best practices are also adding to the MRI accidents. There, we need to have a program in place in India where we can educate the radiologists about the MRI best practices and also other disciplines like anesthesia, neuroanesthesia, and even cleaning staff for that matter on basics of MRI safety. As an organization, we are doing these courses in multiple hospitals and we believe that if we increase the number of these courses, it can really help us achieve MRI safety. So if I talk about MRI safety in India, I think we need to increase our focus on MRI safety and implementing the best practices in India. If I talk about radiation safety, there is a dedicated body. There's a list of do's and don'ts which are mandatorily followed and they are, they are protocols for accidents to be reported. But like many other countries globally, there is no such mandate in India to be reporting and to be Im mandatorily implementing MRI safety protocols. However, if I look on the brighter side, there are nodal agencies like HLL who have been very receptive to the idea of MRI safety and they have heard us and they have also implemented some of the suggestions and recommendations in their upcoming newer sites. We have also seen a lot of big names in the hospital groups who are putting attention on implementing MRI safe practices where we have analyzed their facilities and we have implemented the best practices for them. I think if we increase the number of such practices in India, we are heading towards MRI safer practice. As per the global statistics, 74% of MRI accidents can be avoided. And based on our experience, we recommend a 4P approach to avoiding MRI accidents. 4P stands for processes, people, place, and products. If I talk about processes, we need to have documented checklists available for MRI safety protocols, whether that be for screening a patient in MRI, or that be for the steps to be conducted in case there is an MRI accident or an MRI e emergency. These processes need to be com comprehensive, relevant to the MRI facility, concise and should be understandable every by everybody who has access to these MRI facilities. The next comes people. So people are the basic hardware to the software of processes. We need to ensure that all the people who have access to MRI facility are trained on basics of MRI safety. Along with that, we also need to have a dedicated MRI safety officer for every facility who ensures that these pra best practices are implemented. Next comes product. If I talk about products, there are a lot of MRI compatible products available which can be used to make your MRIs more safer. We need to have awareness about these products. Also, as a recommendation, these products should not be interchangeable and should not be transferred to multiple departments to avoid accidents in MRI. And last but not the least is place. We need to follow MRI safety guidelines when we are building places in MRI. There needs to be zoning, which is basically segregating the MRI facility into multiple zones and ensuring that there is restricted access to these areas by multiple people. MRI safety begins with you, me, and everybody. We all need to understand the risks involved and we need to educate all the stakeholders about the risk. Morris Disha, as an organization, is doing their bit to promote MRI safety in India, and we truly believe that together we can make our MRIs a safer place to be.